Hello folks and thank you for stopping by. Well, I got another um, product review and this time around I'm doing a product review on this rechargeable soap dispenser. And um, I can't really pronounce the name that they going by but I'm just going to put their name like over here somewhere. That's who uh, sent it out for our review so I'd like to thank them for sending this out. And um, well. I'm real anxious to start playing with this thing and see what it's all about. So, you know what? Let's get at it. All right, folks. Well, who y'all with the soap dispenser? And. Uh, I'm just real anxious to start playing with this thing, so let's go and get at it. So, I'll come to you in this box like this and everything, so, so I'm real anxious to start playing with it. It's um, rechargeable for one stand, so you can take this thing anywhere. <laughs> but let's see what it's look like. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box up and everything. Oop, I know it's already, it's got like a tape on here. So let me get that off of there first. Uh, Where's my little cutting tool here? Uh, I just saw it. Well, you know what? Let me use a screwdriver. I have had a handy screwdriver nearby. <laughs> As y'all already know, those that watch this channel, I'm real neat with boxes, so I'm trying to be very, very careful how I open the boxes. think that should do it. Yep, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna open this up. Alright, let's see what it looks like. It comes pretty much wrapped up and everything. Let's take it out the wrapper right here. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, well that's neat. Okay, I like the look of it already. Got a button on top, okay. Oh, okay, let me look back here and see what it looks like here. Oh, well, I believe that's how you recharge it. it looks like it takes a standard five volt USB adapter that you use on your phone, on your Android phone. Plug that bad boy in there, recharge it, okay. All right, I'm gonna put this to the side, and uh, let's see what else we got in here. We got the instruction manual. All right, that's cool. Alrighty, and that's it. That's it, folks. Very easy peasy. <laughs> so this is the cable that goes in there to help you, and of course you find. And the AC power adapter to plug this in to, you know, 5 volt adapter and recharge this thing. Okay. Oh, this is, this is like, that's it. And, you know, you know what, let's kind of open it up a little bit. That's what I'm curious. Let's open it up. Okay. So got that going on put that to the side and of course you got your empty bottle and you fill it up with um, um, hand foam soap now there are ways to do that so we're gonna go ahead and um, what I'm going to do is basically read the instruction manual find out more details about this and I'm going to get back at you. Stay tuned. Well, okay, folks. Well, I basically gathered, gathered all the items I need to basically get this soap dispenser, automatic soap dispenser working. And um, I got me some dishwashing liquid here. I, what else I got? I found me a 5 volt adapter around the house and everything. And, uh, of course, I read through this manual and everything. And, as far as 
for a little kind of soap inside the dispenser. It will take any going to it will take any kind of um, foaming soap solution into it. Uh, as far as um, prepared liquid soap, I think that's what it says on here. Let me look. It's yeah, it's compatible with mostly liquid soap. Yeah, that's what it says on here and like hand washing fluid, dishwashing liquid, facial cleanse, cleanser, etc. Now, when you deal with dishwashing liquid and other stuff that's not pre-made to go into a soap dispenser, you can use dishwashing liquid, but here's like the formula you gotta use to do it. Basically, you gotta put in corn to this. I was just reading this. Like, Basically, this will be water. Okay, this will be the fluid. This will be the dishwashing liquid. This you put this amount of liquid in it, right? And then from that point, you add water, which is over here. So this will be the dishwashing liquid or other liquid you put in there. That's not hand soap, but it can, it can foam, and you put the rest of like water and kind of fill up the there somewhere. And um, that's basically the, the ratio of water to, in this case, dishwashing liquid. And it'll actually foam like it's supposed to. Well, we shall see. And, uh, <laughs> you can, yeah, you can, you can use dishwashing liquid. I was like, oh, okay. I'll do that. We'll try that out. So, here's the dishwashing liquid. Anyway, uh, and then it dawned on me that, wait a minute, before I start using this dispenser, I may want to recharge this first and make sure it's fully charged before we start doing anything. So I found this. I'm going to go ahead and attach it to here. And what I'm going to do is basically let this charge. And uh, after it finished charging, then we go to the next step. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And all right, let's move this out the way. We'll get to that in the next scene. All right, I'll attach it to this thing back here. Plug it up. Actually, let me do it the other way so you actually see, see something here. I'm thinking we should see something first, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug the plug into this first. Da, 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 da. I don't know why that song just popped in my head. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to plug this in. Hey, hold up. I'm doing it wrong. There we go. Alright. Now, according to the manual, when you see it pulsing like that, that means it's charging. Alright, so, it's charging. I remember saying something about when it's charging, okay. Charging, breathing, LED keep lighting. So it's breathing. That's the breathing mode. It means it's charging. Alright. Uh, fully charged, the indicator light will keep lighted. So, once this is fully charged, you won't see it going off like you see this now. Let me get really close to you so you can actually see it. Right now it's charging. Now once it's finished charging, it won't be blinking on and off anymore, no more. It'll just be lit. It'll stay lit. So, we're going to wait till it stays lit. And then we're going to the next step. Stay tuned. Okay, folks. Well, I came back to find that our soap dispenser is fully charged. As you know, the light is not blinking no more, so it's definitely charged up. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. Take it off of there and everything. Alright, so now we know it's charged up. We can go ahead and follow the formula that's on here to make our soap 
for a dispenser. Now, if you got like pre made, like that comes in the jug, pre made foam and soap, I think that should work fine too in this. So, you can buy that or use dishwashing liquid like I'm using. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is basically unscrew this. I'll put that back on here too, by the way. I don't want this to be sitting out. I'm a bit fussy when it comes to this stuff like this. There we go. All right, take this off of here. All right, got that little thing there that soaks up, suck up the soap and everything. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, um, as you notice, it's got like, you know, you know, a rooter on here. So we're gonna basically. Fill it up to let me see if I'm gonna put the soap in here and I want to put water in here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm basically fill it up to like 100 here. Fill the soap with 100 and the rest is gonna be water. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, pull that right in there, like so. Oh boy. This is going to take a while. Let me do it another way. Hold up. Let me do it another way. Because we want to fill it up to a certain point. Oop, I'm getting messy here. <laughs> All right. Let's see how much we got in here. Okay, we got somewhat of I'm going to pour in a little more here. <laughs> Alright. Now, I'm also noticing how thick the dishwashing liquid is. So, you know what? I probably don't have to fill up that much. But I got it pretty much like up to the line right here. So, I think I'm going to try to see if y'all can see. Hold on, folks. Hi, right, sorry about that, folks. My wife was calling me, you know, and you know, you gotta find out what your wife wants, you know what I mean? <laughs> Can't ignore your wife. Well, anyway, um, I went ahead and go ahead and filled it up with water. And as you can see, it's pretty much almost to the top. Oh, by the way, when you fill it up with the soap in the bottom and you pour the water in, put it on slow slowly have the water go in there if you have the water going here full blast it will just start forming inside of the the thing there you don't want that to happen because then you won't have to get the amount of water you want in there so slowly put it under a faucet put it under a faucet and just like put it on real slow pour into the you know the container here and uh so that's what we got going on and as you can notice because this is pretty much kind of like watery but it's not really watery it's got soap in it but you want it kind of watery sort of at the same time so i think we got the right consistency here so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna screw this on all right let's screw it on like I said, I hope I got the right formulation going on. <laughs> ah, we basically made our own hand soap just now. So, all right. So, what I'm going to do is turn it on. And basically, according to the menu, you press on the top here. I mean, long press. Am I doing this right? Oh, I suppose the tap. Oh, see? 
My bad. See, I'm calling myself pressing down. You're not supposed to press down. You're supposed to just tap on the top there. It's got a sensor up there. You just it can feel you see your finger. So just tap it. Now it's on. And to turn it off, by the way, tap it again. And it'll blink twice and let you know it's off. So I almost forgot how to turn it on. So now I'm gonna be careful here. Because I want you to see this. Now since this is, this is like it's first go around, it's not going to foam as much, but next go around it should fill up. So basically the first time you use it, it's not that much foam supposed to have come out, but next time it's going to have enough foam in there to come out like it's supposed to. So we're going to try it out. Um, it's got like an infrared sensor underneath and everything. So as soon as you put your hands underneath, okay, it'll take a while. Oh, there we go. Check that out. And then you don't even have to have it have that close. Look at that. That's our hand soap, folks. And I tell you right now, we got the right formula together. Look at that. Oh man. Now I know my hands is wet and I can't touch anything. Let me find something to wipe my hands off. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's see. Ah. And my hands smell real good too. You can put that, you know, use that hand soap, wash your hands. Oh, yeah. We got it going on. And of course, to turn it off, like I showed before, tap on it, and it's off. See? It's not on no more. Now, I discovered that it also has an interesting, another feature that's not documented in the uh, manual. And it may come in handy in certain situations. So, before I do it, maybe uh, put something here. So we want to like have it all over the place. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see. What what can I put up here that I'm going to be washing anyway? I'm going to get one of the stuff I'm going to be washing the clothes with anyway. Uh, I'm going to kind of lay lay an old sock down here. It's going to go in the washing machine anyway. There we go. Now you saying to yourself, okay Jerome, why are you putting a sock on a table? Alright, check this out. First I'm going to turn this on. That's on. And now, I'm going to do this. See? As long as I hold that button down, this is what's going to happen. Now let me do it again, just so you'll see. Why it's on. Keep your finger on it. As long as I don't take my finger off the button, it'll keep doing this. Once I let go, I just turned it off too, by the way. But yeah, when I let go, that stops. Now, you may be asking yourself, how can that be useful? Well, just just say you really need to clean up something, and you you know need some soap, something handy like foam soap, and anything, like clean a table or something like that, and everything. You have a little big mess that happened. This will help. Grab this bad boy, get you a cloth. Spray some soap on there, let it come out, like I just showed you, and uh, instantly you have yourself to wipe down whatever stuff you need to wipe down. And you can carry this around, as you can see, and also this comes in also handy if you want to like clean this out, like after the soap runs out here, and suppose you want to put a different soap in here, right? A different kind of soap, whatever. But you still got to clean the chamber that's in here, so you'll use that. You would just pump you know put some plain water in here 
clean it up, put some plain water in here, and do like I just showed you before with this, but let him put, put, do it over a sink, by the way. Don't do it on here. Put it, do it over the sink and basically let it clean itself out. So that's 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 pretty much it, folks. I like this. I mean, this is great. I, I love it. You know what? I like it so much. I'm going to go ahead and uh, provide an Amazon link in the bottom of the video so you can get this wonderful item. And, you know, this is, this is like... Okay, it's on. Okay, this is like cool. I mean, like, I love it. I mean, I really love this. So thank you for stopping by. And have a great day.